We are Sean and Lindsay Pitch, and this is how we walk with Jesus through our son Colton's death. Lindsay dropped Colton on and Shaylin off at the babysitters and got a call from a family member that our son Colton was being air evac to the hospital. The doctor came in 10 minutes after I got into the room and said that it uh, didn't look really good. Uh, there was no signs of life in the eyes. We all got to kind of gather around him. And then shortly after one, uh, his heart had stopped. And so at that point, they said the best thing to do is just put him in mom's arms and, and take all the machines off, basically. Um, checked him again at four and his heart had stopped. And so at that point, we you know, basically bathed him, put him in his favorite blanket and left the hospital without him that morning. Pretty much for a long time, several years, I just existed. I just existed. Everyone kept, you know, begging me to go to church and, and I'm just like, I couldn't do it. I just literally was ill anytime somebody asked me that. I knew that I couldn't handle it on my own. Um, I was not a believer then, and I was really angry. Angry because, you know, this so-called God that everyone talked about allowed our, our baby boy to be shaken and taken from us. I don't know what the turning point was, but I just felt like that's where I needed to be because I was done just existing. I was done being angry and I was done being hurt and you know I, I wanted to be happy again. Uh, letting Jesus into my life, um, uh, I was able to find happiness and peace and forgiveness, which was really, really difficult. I struggled with that for a while. I didn't I was like, there is no way I'm forgiving her for doing what she did to him. I mean, he was four months old. We had a, we had a service one Sunday where our pastor had lost his sister to a drunk driver. And he had made a big wooden box with just a little slit in the top of it. You had your own time to write down either someone you want to forgive or someone you need to ask forgiveness from. And you know, I had somebody in, in on my paper, and there was a huge weight um, that was just lifted off your shoulders. And that's how I felt after writing that piece of paper. I did write her name on that piece of paper, and I put it in that box. And then I went home and I wrote a letter, and then I burned the letter, and then I prayed, just telling him that I just want to forgive her, you know. And, and, and I did, I felt like a huge relief, huge relief. So it just, it made, it made life easier. Let God carry you when you're needing it the most. And if you're in a relationship, make sure and help carry um, whoever else needs to be carried.